Hey everybody and welcome to Malt Muser or Whiskey Reviews. I am Eric on the bar for today. It is a whiskey from Japan, Ohishi Isla Cask Finish. As always here on the channel, Nose Taste Finish Review of this whiskey is coming your way. I'll tell you a bit about the value, give you my final thoughts, a final score, and leave you with a malt musing. But first, take a second, smash that sub, subscribe button, to make sure you do not miss these reviews, which I am putting up every Friday on YouTube, Tuesday happy hour. You'll also get notifications for that every Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern. Okay, so Ohishi whiskey is a product of Japan. Is it a Japanese whiskey or is it a product of Japan? Well, this is a great question. As we dive in to look at the label of this, um, there is nowhere on here that it says it's a Japanese whiskey. And that is unclear why. So um, just to give you a little bit of context, a while back, they changed the rules defining Japanese whiskey because it was pretty much the Wild West. The spirit has to be fermented, distilled, and aged at a distillery in Japan. It must contain malted grain, but can have other unmalted grains. Water has to be come from Japan, has to be three years old, and it has to be bottled in Japan. This whiskey, um, it is distilled from malted and unmalted rice. Getting into the tail of the tape here. So got that covered. Groundwater from the uh, riverbed in Japan. Got that covered. Uh, there is not an age statement on it, and it doesn't say anything about what it's matured in. It is bottled at 42.8% ABV, and it is, again, a rice whiskey in an Isla cask. So um, a little bit of internet research shows that uh, the batches of this do come out um, every once every year or so. They are um, about seven years old. They don't age state it. Uh, brandy casks with an Isla cask finish, likely kill Hohman, but nobody knows for sure. So the water is from Japan. It's probably about three years old. It's fermented, distilled, and aged at a distillery in Japan. It says here, distilled from malt, fermented the groundwater. It doesn't say it's made, it distilled in Japan. It says it's bottled by Oishi Distillery Japan, so we don't know. Um, it is either the bottling or something in the process which prohibits them from calling themselves a Japanese whiskey, it seems. All of that said, does it really matter? I don't know. Um, I have also seen these come in boxes. And this is just, again, a testament to uh, why I think putting everything on the label is important. You don't always get a box when you buy these things. There may be more information about this whiskey on that box, but I don't have it. So going off the internet, again, that's what we have to say, non chill filtered natural color. 42.8% ABV, brandy cask for about five to six years, with about uh, eight to 12 months in an Isla cask from an unknown distillery, rice whiskey, that's the tail of the tape. Let's get this in the glass and check it out. You may be interested in uh, knowing that further that you know, whiskeys like this are very similar to Japanese shochu, which is a... Um, distilled rice alcoholic beverage um the only major difference here these are uh those are usually about 25 to 30 percent abv even though this one's a bit higher and this has malted unmalted rice so uh there you go uh shochu also usually does have uh some other things in it sometimes even potatoes so that's all the info on that let's get into this whiskey that is the natural color on the nose Wow. Fruit, honey, very sweet. And a freshness, which I think is coming from that Isla cask. Yeah, so really it's fruity. It's a bit mineral. And you get a little bit of that freshness coming from the smoke on the back end. Yeah, it's good to taste. Cheers. Right away for most scotch and bourbon drinkers, you will notice a difference right away with the palate on this. It is a very soft. Um, the body is about medium, a little slippery, a little oily, but it's just very, very elegant and soft on the palate. And that's definitely from that rice. Fresh fruit, mineral, a little bit of vegetal note. So you're getting kind of a sweet, savory, as it originally arrives, sour on the back end. As it develops, takes you right to uh, that Isla cask, which comes in, again, 
pretty mild. This is not a heavily smoky whiskey by any stretch. You get a little bite from that that uh, peat cask, dark chocolate cocoa. Mm. Medium finish, short medium finish. Doesn't linger around too long. Pretty pleasant. Grape. Again, just hints of little uh, kind of vegetal notes. Some vanilla. One more needs it. A little bit more chocolate and oak now, but yeah. Pretty short on the finish, just get a little bit dry. Let's put some water on this just to see what happens. This was at 42.8%, so we're gonna bring this down just a couple drops. Again, this is a non-age statement whiskey, but internet says around seven to seven years, give or take. We know they're never wrong. With water. Much more barrel kind of cask oak smell on this. So it's gotten a bit spicier. Those fruit notes definitely taking a backseat. Uh, water is really changing this. Getting a little bit floral, a little bit of that minerality. The brandy cask, which this has likely been in for some time, is definitely showing up more here. And the prune, maybe dark plum. Mm. I really like the arrival. Get a very soft whiskey, but that belies its flavor, which is pretty potent. Coat in the mouth. It's extending that development. This is a lot more interesting with water. Getting more fruit notes. It's a bit drier. It's a bit more oaky. More of that bourbon cask coming through, light caramel, brown sugar. Finish. Stewed fruit. Medium finish, so it's lasting a little longer. A bit of little spearmint or mint on the end. Smokiness just a little bit. There's a lot going on here, but does it all come together? We'll get into that. First, let's talk about the value. So look, most of y'all who have been uh, buying whiskey from the Japanese whiskeys and whiskeys from Japan, prices have skyrocketed over the last decade. These Oishi whiskeys are probably a bit more on the modest price range. I mean, you can find this for around $85. Um, it may not be available everywhere, you can definitely find it online. Um, I have seen this upwards of 100, if not more. So prices may vary, but I think right on that 85.90 is what you can expect. As for the uh, value mark on this, you know, I'm going to, uh, given all things considered, I'm going to give this some, just a straight medium value. Okay, let's talk final thoughts. Um, this whiskey, it's an interesting one. It's cool to see what they're doing here. And obviously, more access to whiskeys from Japan, the better, in my opinion, uh, as long as they're quality. Is this a quality whiskey? Yeah, I think it's a quality whiskey. Um, it presents itself, despite the label missing a bunch of stuff, based on what we've read, presents itself with pretty much a nice craft presentation, sans the, uh, you know, the, the uh, ABV. Um, it definitely suffers a bit from its youth. I think while it doesn't taste particularly like a young whiskey, um, these flavors are really kind of standing out. They don't really blend well together. We either are getting big hits of bourbon cask or a big hit of the, uh, or a more hit of the Isla cask. And that's about it. Um, it's a little bit disjointed. Um, if you're a big Isla peat smoke uh, whiskey fan, this is not going to really do the trick for you. If you're just getting into it and like brandy, this whiskey might work for you. But as an everyday whiskey, this isn't really something I'm going to reach for much. And the price on this, you know, as I said, I'm going to give it a medium value just because um, of the market that it, it operates in. But personally, I wouldn't pay that much again for this. Um, so all in all, I think it's a commendable effort. It's uh, a pretty quality product, not for everybody. Um, it doesn't quite meet my palate. I'm not a huge fan of brandy. Uh, so 
All of that said, I'm just going to shoot this one straight and narrow down the middle with a three out of five, which will be right around an average score. So three is an average for me. Um, I think opportunity here, interesting stuff. You know, if you really enjoy this, pick up a bottle, but definitely uh, look towards trying this before you do. So three out of five, that is the score on the Oishi Isla cast finish. Let me know in the chat. Leave a comment. Have you had this before? Do you have any opinions on this? Um, are there other whiskeys from Japan or Japanese whiskeys you'd recommend? Do you know why this one isn't a Japanese whiskey? <laughs> Comment section is for you. We'd love to hear from you. And uh, with that, I'll kick you to your malt musing. And we'll see you next time on Malt Muser Whiskey Reviews. Cheers. <laughs>